All right, let's talk, uh, so much to talk about. I saw you the other night on the Oscars as Ali G. I thought you were very funny. Thank you, you did very a great much. job. You. you know, but I do want to, there you are. Thank you. But I want to ask you something. <laughs> I found out, I find it hard to believe, the producers of the Oscars are so controlling, they, are, they don't like surprises. They didn't know that you were going to come out as Ali G, is that right? That is correct, that is correct. <laughs> they brought me in there and they said, listen, what do you, what are you planning? And I because said, you've done things to them in the past, which we'll talk about, but you have kind of pranked the Oscars in the past, and they thought, we don't want any nonsense. Yes, yeah, so they sat me down, and sat me down with the producer. They said, what are you planning? I said, absolutely nothing. <laughs> and they said, all right, we want you to introduce a clip to the movie Room. And they go, this speech, it's, and it was basically, you know, in a world far away where people have complete freedom, down to a tiny room where a mother and son... So they said, are you happy to read that? I said, perfect, great. <laughs> but secretly, I knew I was going to do Ali G, but my thing was, I knew that they would be trying to see whether I'd smuggle anything in. So my wife very kindly smuggled the beard in her underwear. Is that true? That is actually true. That's a true story. That's true, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good wife. Well, that is a real wife. <laughs> Okay, so you, she has her, the beard. She has the beard. Mm -hmm. Just in case anyone checks down there, there's an excuse to have some... <laughs> a bit of bush there. Yeah. And uh, I've got the cap, the allergy cap, and the... We put the glasses in another bag, blah, blah, blah. And then essentially, 30 minutes before the... I had to go on, uh, we went into this bathroom right on the side of the stage, and she put the beard on me because she I went into the bathroom with you and she did your makeup for Ali G secretly yes exactly. so then when you walk out at that moment the producers the director everybody they just oh god he did it he did it to us yes yeah. well the, the good thing is Hollywood is one of the places where you can disappear into a toilet for half an hour without anyone questioning <laughs> They, they thought, they thought there, there could be two or three things that me and my wife were doing. Neither of them involved going to the actual toilet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's a, uh, there's a, a story, I don't know if it's true, but you famously, you went to the Oscars dressed as the dictator, and you were carrying, I believe, the ashes of... Of the late uh, Kim Jong-il. Yes. <laughs> and they didn't want you, you actually... <laughs> You spilled the oh, ashes right. all over Ryan Seacrest. Yes, <laughs> accidents. <laughs> accidents happen. Accidents happen. You're, you're such an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love it. So anyway, they knew that you might try something. How did you so, get away with that? Well, they called up my agent and they said, if Sasha comes within a mile of the Oscars, we have 250 agents. Right. You know, and police officers, and he will be arrested. And I thought that's a little bit unfair because I was in this movie called Hugo yes, Scorsese, yes. and it was nominated for a bunch of Academy Awards. And Scorsese said, I want you there at the Oscars. So you so, have every right to be at exactly, the Oscars so, as a legitimate actor. Exactly. So there was a bit of to and fro. Eventually they said, all right, Sasha can come, but, you know, any funny business and there's a problem. So I get to the first checkpoint. I've got a limousine, and I have two women dressed up as virgin guards. Who is, <laughs> Gaddafi had these virgin guards yeah, yeah. with him. And we have... Kim Jong-il's ashes in right. this urn, yeah. which I've t put flowers on the top, so it looks like it's a peace offering to yeah. the yeah. Academy. Anyway, we get to the first FBI checkpoint, and they have a clipboard, and I look on the clipboard, and there's a picture of me with the beard. <laughs> <laughs> and they, Don't let this man in. And the guy says, you know, I'm going to have to check the car. And I go, why? And he goes, because we believe that you're carrying in firearms into the Oscars. <laughs> And I thought, all right, I don't have any guns, but I am bringing in the ashes of a late, dead uh, dictator. Yeah. So I thought, how do I stop them from actually finding the urn? So I said, all right, fine, check everything. And really, you'd best sort of check me fully, and also you'd better check the women. And the guy popped his head in, saw these two women, got completely embarrassed and said, you know what, go in. And then once I got in there, they said, listen, you try anything and we're arresting you. And they go, we're putting seven bodyguards around you. Now, the problem is when you put seven bodyguards on one person, everyone thinks the other bodyguard is doing something. Yeah. So they're all looking here, one's looking here, one's looking <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm with uh, Ryan Seacrest, and the flowers get, you know, passed to me. I turn them around, turn it into an urn, and accidentally, 
Accidentally. The ashes. Yeah, dump the ashes on Ryan yeah. Seacrest. <laughs> look at that bald guy. Yeah. <laughs> I like your look. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised.